हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ फोर्थ मॉड्यूल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट वेरिफिकेशन एंड वैल्यूएशन ऑफ लायबिलिटीज वेरिफिकेशन ऑफ लायबिलिटीज इज आल्सो एज इंपॉर्टेंट एज द वेरिफिकेशन ऑफ असेट इफ द लायबिलिटीज आर ओवर वैल्यूड और अंडर वैल्यूड इन द बैलेंस शीट शेल नॉट रिप्रेजेंट अ ट्रू एंड फेयर व्यू ऑफ द स्टेट ऑफ अफेयर्स ऑफ द कंपनी similarly the profit and loss account that is also will be incorrect the verification of the liabilities is much much easier than the valuation and verification of assets the important part of auditor is to satisfy himself about the correct disclosure of information in respect of every items which appearing in the liability side of the balance sheet thus the present discussion on verification and valuation of liabilities deals with the process of verification of different items of liabilities appearing in the balance sheet as per your syllabus we have to study three items here that is bills payable sundry creditors and contingent liabilities let's study the first one that is bills payable the auditor's duty is regarding to verification and valuation of bills payable are as follows the auditor should obtain the bills payable schedule or bills payable statement first he should check all the bills payable statement with the bills payable book and bills payable account secondly he has to check the payments made how he should check the bills payable which are already paid he has to examine cash book for that and he should also examine the bills payable account for those bills he has to check the dates how he has to check the date of the balance sheet and also the date of audit when that particular bills payable is paid which is earlier the auditor should examine the cash book as well as pass book and also he should ensure that the bills which have been paid are not recorded as outstanding each and every transactions are recorded in the books of accounts and if any suspects are found he has to obtain confirmation from the parties to whom that bills of a uh, large amount has been issued or the clients you have to take a confirmation certificate from the client for the bills accepted and uh, finally he should examine the unpaid bills and should find out the their subsequent payments into the cash book of future period he should get a confirmation in respect of those amounts due on the bills accepted by the client that are held by them the next item here to study is sundry creditors the duties related to verification and valuation of sundry creditors as follows the auditor should ask for a schedule of creditors and balances which has to be checked with the creditors ledger and statement of accounts which is received from the creditor auditor should check books of accounts related to creditors such as purchase book purchase returns book with all the invoices relating to it credit notes posting of subsidiary books with creditor account in the ledger he should also check that all the credit purchases transaction for the year have been taken into account and there must be no missing of any entry and the auditor should pay special attention with regards to uh, beginning and ending entries of the financial year to check any fake or fictitious entries have been passed or not and he should carefully examine the books of account if any debt is found unpaid for a long time the auditor has to enquire whether the amount has been misappropriated or not and he has to check all the invoices which is related to the current year not any previous year if client maintains any provisions with respect to discounts on creditor if that aspect also to be checked by the auditor with creditors account and finally he is going for a comparison and that comparison will be of gross profit from previous year to current year if any variations uh, seen by him then he'll go for a explanation aspect the last item here to discuss is contingent liabilities contingent liabilities are those liabilities which may or may not arises in the future for payment 
example to it uh, liabilities on bills discounted liability in respect of arrears of dividends it's like that okay one thing you have to keep this in mind this is not in your liability side it will be in your footnote the same thing will be explained in the auditor's duty too the auditor's duty with respect to contingent liabilities is as follows auditor should obtain a list of contingent liabilities and certificates from the management that all contingent liabilities have been disclosed in the books of accounts secondly the auditor has to verify the existence of such contingent liabilities in business by examining the minutes of meeting of board of directors or books of accounts etc if any provisions are made for contingent liabilities the auditor has to see that it is shown in the liability side or not liability side or else the head of current liabilities and provisions they have to show so the existence should be disclosed by the appropriate footnote in the position of final statement when you are preparing the final balance sheet you have to show that particular contingent liability in the footnote the auditor is going to examine that whether it is genuine or not the auditor has to check recording of these contingent liabilities are made under relevant provisions of the companies act or not so thank you students for watching this videos if you have any doubts please come get to my notes